Hello and welcome to the week four lectures in this course. Uh, so we have seen what are open sets and uh, what is a topology on a set and in this lecture we will uh, learn about a related concept that of closed sets. So what is a closed set? So, so let us start with a topological space uh, the set X with the topology tau on it so be a topological space then a set a uh, subset a of x is called closed if the complement of a belongs to tau which means that the complement of a is open in x so um, we see that just taking the complement of an open set uh, gives us what are called closed sets. So let us see some examples of closed sets. So if, if you take x to be the real line and a to be the closed interval and this is where the terminology closed set comes from. So here of course a is less than b. Um, they are real numbers then a is closed is closed since uh, the complement of a is just the union of uh, two parts so uh, the open interval from minus infinity to a and the open interval from b to infinity so here you have the real line here you have a b and the complement is just the this part towards the left and this part towards the right so and because this is these are both open uh, both these these uh, sets are open in r um, this means that the complement is a union of two open sets and then this means that the set a is closed let us see another example if you take x to be r2 then we have seen that there are many ways to put a topology on this Euclidean plane and one of them was just by taking the uh, the Euclidean metric d Euclidean metric d and this uh, this gives you a topology on R2 which we call the standard topology standard topology which is the metric topology induced by metric topology induced by D so with this topology if you take um, take A to be this following subset so I will just draw uh, draw a picture here so you have the Euclidean plane so this is the x-axis this is the y-axis and um, suppose that you take a circle here circle and you take the following area so this is all the points outside the circle like this and I'm taking the circle without its boundary okay and so the complement of that is is all these points outside of the circle but also the boundary area and this is a closed set so a is closed as the complement of a is is nothing but the uh, basis set from say say this uh, circle has has center uh, the origin with say radius some r then the complement is nothing but um, the origin with radius r so it's the r, r ball with center the origin and so this is this is open in the standard topology on r2 so the the complement of a is open so a is closed so you can also use uh, equivalently the the product topology on R2 coming from the standard topologies on each copy of R 
and in this case if you if you take let us say this is the Euclidean plane and you consider a rectangular region like this and consider the area outside of this rectangular region like this so all the all the area in the red region and also including the boundary of this rectangular region then uh, then then this subset a is closed as a complement which is a complement is nothing but the interior region of this rectangle and of course also in this in this um, first example the a complement is just the interior region of the circle so um, for the product topology the interior region is open and we have seen that the product topology is the same as the metric topology induced by the Euclidean metric so both these sets are closed um, so a complement in the second one is open in the in the standard topology so um, so these are examples of um, closed sets in R and R2 let us see uh, also the example x with the discrete topology so x is now an arbitrary set and it is given the discrete topology then the closed set closed sets of x are all the subsets of x all the subsets of x and this is because uh, every since every set is open so the um, in the discrete topology every set subset of x is open so the complement of any set is open so complement of any set is open and so all all sets all subsets of x are closed let's take a final example where uh, x is the real line and y is the set 0 1 union let's say um, 5 comma 6 so these are uh, so let me even in fact you can even have the open interval here and y is given the uh, subspace topology subspace topology and uh, we shall make the convention here that convention is that whenever whenever we consider the set of real numbers we consider the set of real numbers r we choose the standard topology on r um, unless otherwise specified unless otherwise stated Let's see. so um, so your y here has the subspace topology coming from the standard topology on r and uh, now let us see what is the complement of the set 0 1 in y okay so 0 1 complement intersection y and this is nothing but the open interval 5 6 and the open interval 5 6 is is open in the subspace topology because well phi, uh, the open interval 5 6 is itself intersection y and this is open in the standard topology in r so this is open this means that the set 0 1 is closed in in y in the stand in the subspace topology so we use the term closed in y to distinguish it uh, to distinguish being closed in this in the topology of the bigger space uh, we use the terminology closed in y or closed in x to to make a distinction between the two and as we will see a, a set which is closed in the bigger space uh, may not be uh, closed in in y so 
a, a, a set which is closed in x may not be closed in y and a set which is closed in y may not be closed in x. Uh, here a word of caution that a set may be closed in y but may not be closed in x and an example uh, we can already see from from the current uh, example here of such a set and in fact we have chosen uh, 0 1 as our, our example uh, for the for a closed set but we can also choose the other interval 5 6 and uh, 5 6 is closed in y but it is not closed not closed in x so in fact 5 6 is an open interval in x in in the real lines but and uh, the complement of 5 6 uh, the interval 5 6 in y is nothing but 0 1 which is which is open in y because this can be written as uh, say minus 1 uh, 2 intersection y so, so um, if you take the interval so this is here 0 1 and you have 5 6 here so if you take uh, the interval minus 1 2 and intersect it with um, with y then you get 0 1 and so this is open in y and so therefore 5 6 is closed in y but of course 5 6 is not closed in x so there can be um, um, subsets which are closed in the subspace topology but they are not closed in the topology of the larger space that you're considering so here are some properties of closed sets so let us fix a topological space x with the topology tau and the first property says that arbitrary intersections of closed sets is closed the second property says that finite unions of closed sets is closed and the third says that both the empty set and the x the set it itself are closed uh, you might notice that uh, for open sets we had arbitrary unions of open sets are open but here arbitrary intersections of closed sets are closed and similarly for open sets you had finite intersections of open sets are open but here there are finite union of closed sets are closed and all of these properties basically follow uh, follow from De Morgan's laws so for example um, if you take a alpha collection of closed sets arbitrary collection of closed sets in x then the intersection over um, over this uh, index at j of course whenever we are talking about these kinds of intersections we always assume that j is non-empty and <coughs> with this with this intersection if you compute its complement by de morgan's law this is nothing but the union of the complements of each a alpha and now these are open because a alpha is closed and now this is an arbitrary union of open sets therefore it is open and so this is closed similarly if you have uh, a finite um, union finite many many closed sets a1 a2 an closed in x then the union of a i i equal to 1 to n if you compute its complement again then this is nothing but the intersection i equal to 1 to n of the complements of each a i's and again this is open and now we have a finite intersection of open sets so this is open and this means that this here the 
uh, finite union is closed. And similarly, uh, phi and x are complements of each other and they are both open, so phi and x are closed as well. So these are um, the analogous properties um, uh, as we have seen for open sets, for finite intersections, arbitrary unions, and the uh, openness of the empty set and the set itself. And these are analogous properties for closed sets. Similarly, we can give a characterization of closed sets in the subspace topology. So suppose that Y is a subset of X and it is given the, so it is a subspace, meaning that it is given the subspace topology. Then a set A, so here A is a subset of Y. A is closed in Y and this just means that um, a complement intersection Y belongs to the subspace topology tau Y. And, and note that this is nothing but y minus a. Okay, so this is um, a closed, a is closed in y if and only if a is of the form c intersection y for some closed set c in x. So let us see a proof of this, uh, this lemma. So let us start with uh, the forward implication and say that uh, y is uh, a is closed in y. Suppose that A is, let A be closed in Y, uh, which means that Y minus A is um, an open set in the substrate topology. And this means uh, that Y minus A is of the form U intersection Y for some uh, open set U in X. Now if you take uh, B or let's say C to be U complement and C and consider, so let C be U complement and consider the set uh, C intersection Y. What is C intersection Y? Uh, this is nothing but uh, U complement intersection Y and this is nothing but Y uh, minus U but this is also equal to y minus u intersection y. So just, just drawing a, a standard Venn diagram picture will make these equalities clear for you and I encourage you to do that yourself. And here I can simply use the fact that u intersection y is y minus a. So this is y minus y minus a and this is nothing but a. So since a is a subset of y, uh, so this is nothing but a. So we have shown that a is of the form C intersection Y. Now for the other application, let A be of the form C intersection Y where C is closed in X, which means that C complement is open in X. <coughs> and uh, you have to show that um, Y minus A, so this is to show that y minus a belongs to the subspace topology tau y. So how do we do that? It is given that a is of this form. So what is y minus a? y minus a is y intersection a complement. And here I can just plug in uh, the expression for a, which is c intersection y. This is complement. And this is nothing but Y intersection C complement union Y complement. And this is nothing but <coughs> Y intersection C complement union Y intersection Y complement. And this is empty. So you get C complement intersection Y. And now since C complement was a as a, uh, was an open set in X, then this intersection with Y will belong to the subspace topology tau Y. So this completes our proof of the lemma.